Well, when Punky's rolled, I don't think I had the button pressed. Okay. Just to reiterate, I have the cheese and noodles, the peas, the tuna, the sauce and the noodles, the butter. I'm using the electric frying pan because it's deeper. Now, I need water. I take out the plug. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. And one quarter. and the sauce mix. So let me get something to stir it with. Right here. Okay. Oh, the butter. You need the butter first. Okay. A couple of tablespoons of this. So, as a matter of fact, I have to tell you, when I saw the news about Bray Wyatt's death, I thought, I'm going to wait for this before I put that in. Um, I thought they were talking about the character. Like he was doing something. You know what I mean? It never occurred to me until I actually fully read the article. They were saying that Wyndham Rotunda was dead. I'm like, okay, Bray Wyatt, the character, is dead. Now they're doing something different with him, or he's moving on, or, you know, something like that. It never occurred to me when looking at it. You know, when, when the headline first popped up, I'm like, okay, this is professional wrestling. This can't be, you know, can't be real. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting for this to come up because, or to boil a little bit, because I don't want to put noodles in an unboiling liquid. I mean, I just don't. This is all the way up, so once it starts boiling, I will turn it down. Um, grab <coughs> that. Do that I can open on my own. Okay. So, while I'm waiting for this to boil, I'm going to my pills. I'm 
issues for a while and I'm wondering <clears throat> if there's more to the story oh, now it's boiling turn it down just a little bit um, if there's more to the story Same thing that almost killed his uncle, which was a heart attack. If you recall, I brought you that story uh, a few months ago. And we were all praying for Barry. I mean, can you imagine his poor mother? She nearly lost her brother. Now she's lost her son. It's like, I guess for me, yes. You know, he has a dad that loves him very much. You know, I don't doubt that for one millisecond. I just, I guess as a woman, I look at a mother's perspective. Um, I guess I'll cook this until the uh, pasta is done. And and this is thick enough considerably. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna put the, the peas and the dinner. 
And I've never done it with this particular mix. Usually I just use egg noodles and cream soup. <coughs> I'm trying to break up the uh, clumps of cheese in here. The boiling water will do some of the work as far as that goes, but you know, because it'll be moving it around and melting it. store last night too. Um, um, she was in Maine. Bella Anobar, something like that. This is her channel and I got her channel from Katie. And in watching it, her channel is a lot like you. So, um, I love the beet cream that she did. It's similar to one that Katie did a while back. And, um, terrible because you're layering paint colors to create almost an ombre effect but not really an ombre effect something similar and oh, it's kind of picking up here and that makes it look absolutely terrible in the beginning but like they said trust the process because when it's all done, it's gorgeous. They both made appliques for their uh, pieces. I'm trying to break up some cheese. Most of the cheese is broken up now. Look this. Well, a little bit longer. Let this thicken up just a little bit more. <clears throat> See, as that cheese, as those cheese lumps break up, it thickens more. So. I saw she was from Maine. I just had to subscribe. But I guess she's not actually from Maine. She's, um, a military wife. And when he retired, that's where they went. They had been living in uh, Germany. It seems I know a lot of military wives that lived in Germany. Seems to be a popular installation. Okay, this is getting to a good texture here. Just going to test the... Good. Just want to test the noodle for doneness. Is turn down the heat a little bit more. Whoa, I turned it up. There we go. Turn it down. So that the noodles have a place to cook because otherwise they're not going to have any fluid left to cook in. 
because it's thickening up nicely. But the noodles need to continue to cook a little bit. So. I need to check and see how this did. Okay. I'm not going to put all these peas in there, it's too many. But, okay. Okay, this is just um, simmer. I think there's going to be just enough for today and tomorrow. Mm. Actually, it's good. That's okay. Just going to keep stirring and keep stirring. Mm -hmm. so, and yes, I am going to drink my soda, but I'm going to drink this one by lunch. Casserole's been around since the 50s when I started encouraging moms to use uh, soups to make casseroles, you know, cream soups, cream of this, that, or the other soup to make casseroles and stuff. Like, Get them out of the kitchen faster or whatever the heck. Um, the whole thing was back then, but just kind of uh, chopping up and mixing in my tuna. Look at that. Well, you can't see it yet, but trust me, guys. This is going to be flipping delicious. That's going to be my uh, thumbnail, actually. Let me go grab my... I didn't take that picture. That's how I get some of my thumbnails. Think. Mm 
Oh, excuse me. There we go. Thumbnail. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I know that I am going to enjoy this. For lunch and probably for supper. <laughs> um, so, I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. God bless you. Please subscribe to both channels and click, click those bells. Thank you so much for your support. We're going to get to 100 by Labor Day. Bye, guys. Mwah.